It's been a while since I've done a whole pork loin, but that's what I'm going to be doing it today. I'm going to be smoking it out on the Weber kettle with some peach wood, and I'm going to be finishing it off with a citrus honey glaze. First thing we need to do before we get this pork loin out to the Weber kettle is we got to make the rub. Really simple rub, five ingredients. We'll also be adding some salt directly onto the pork loin, but for purposes of the rub as it stands alone, just five ingredients. We've got two tablespoons of paprika, tablespoon of ground black pepper, tablespoon of granulated garlic, a teaspoon of hatch chili powder, and a half a teaspoon of Trader Joe's South African Smoked Seasoning Blend. We're just gonna mix this up. It's gonna have a nice red color on this rub. Let's give it a taste. Really nice. Smokiness already in there from that South African seasoning blend. Really good. Now let's get this rub on the pork loin. We've got about a four and a half pound pork loin here. It's fairly well trimmed up. It's got a slight fat cap on the other side, which is perfect. And so now I'm just gonna hit this with some salt first. And now our rub. See that beautiful red color there. Make sure we get the ends too. And again, I'm not using a binder. I generally don't use binders. If you use a binder, that's fine. A lot of people use mustard, Worcestershire sauce. You can see it's a very light fat cap here on this side. We'll be cooking this fat side down today. I'm gonna sprinkle the rest of our rub on here. I'm happy with that. Let's get it out to the Weber kettle. All right, I have the Weber kettle set up with the slow and sear. I'm not gonna be adding any water to the reservoir today in the slow and sear. I want this to be a little bit of a drier cook because I wanna crust that pork loin a little bit on the outside because we're gonna be adding that citrus honey glaze at the end when we start serving it. So let's get our pork loin on here. Right back here. We're gonna get our temperature probe in. And go right in about here. So our meat probe is in a good position. It's showing 38 degrees internal, which is perfect. This came right out of the refrigerator. So now let's get some chunks of peach wood on here and get her smoking. Start with a chunk right over here. We'll let that catch before we put our lid on. All right, our peach wood chunk is catching. Time to get the lid on and start smoking. So I'll be adjusting the vents to try and maintain this temperature of the kettle between 225 and 250. The end internal temperature we're shooting for with the pork loin is 145 degrees. But at about 120 degrees, we're gonna sear it quickly, give it a reverse sear before returning it indirect and finishing it off to that 145 degrees. It's a similar method to the one I use when I'm making tri-tips. So let's get to adjusting those vents. So right now the pit temp is showing at about 243. It's gonna start rising here. We just had the lid off, a lot of air flowing in with that charcoal. So I want to take my bottom vents down first. So I'm gonna bring my bottom vents down to the one third mark here. I can always open them up more if I need to, but that's where I wanna start. And my top vent, I'm gonna take down to just about half. And I'll watch the kettle temps now to see where it sort of stabilizes at. Okay, we seem to have come somewhere in the 230s. I'm happy with that. Between 225 and 250, it's gonna move around a little as I play with the vents some more to just sort of dial it right in. So right now I'm happy. We're just gonna be letting this go. I probably won't spritz it at all. Pork loin generally doesn't take a long, long time to cook on the kettle when you're smoking it. We're probably looking at somewhere between an hour and 15 minutes and an hour and 45 minutes. If the temperature stays at the upper end, that could change, or at the lower end, that could change too. I'll bring you back when it's time to sear this. All right, our temperature's at 110. Let's give this a sear. Looking really good. Nice smell coming off there. Put our grate down. Get our temperature probe out for a couple minutes. Let's get this over the coals. 
This is just to help give this a little bit of extra color. A nice sear never hurts. All right, let's turn this over. Get a little sear on the fat side. That should do it. Let's move it back in direct. Let's see if we can get our temperature probe back in the same place. I think this is where it was. Let's see what temperature we register. 117, let's watch it for another minute. That's probably about right. We were about 110, 111 when we started searing it. Got a little boost in heat there. Remember, we're shooting for 145 degrees internal. So we've got about 28 degrees to go. Let's go ahead and get the lid back on and keep cooking. All right, our kettle temp's just a little bit above 250. That's fine right now because we just hit 145. So let's check this with the instant read to confirm that. Check down here. This is a thinner end, so this could actually be a little bit higher. That's showing 144.9, 145, so that's good. That's perfect. Let's just check down here. We got 144.8. Okay, we're good. So we're gonna move this now to a pan and cover it with foil so that we can get started on our citrus honey glaze. Let's get our temperature probe out of here. Move this to the pan. Let's get started on our glaze. All right, so we have about a half a stick of unsalted butter here. To that, we're gonna add a quarter cup brown sugar, quarter cup of orange juice, roughly about four tablespoons of a stone ground mustard and about a quarter cup of honey. I'm eyeballing this. And we're gonna let this combine, let that butter melt. If it gets too hot, move it off of the coals. You can do this on the stove if you want. Right, it's like cooking outside while I already have the kettle going. We're just wanting this to Reduce down a bit to thicken up. Let it simmer there for a bit. We don't want it thick like honey. We just want it thicker than like a really thin liquid. So just a little bit more here and we're gonna be ready. Okay, our glaze is looking good here. I think we are ready to get this inside and cut into our pork loin. Here is our pork loin. The color on it is just gorgeous. I am so looking forward to cutting into this and getting that citrus honey glaze on this. All right, let's go straight in the middle here. Oh, beautiful. Oh, look at that. Nice and juicy. Juice just running out of there. Really, really pretty. Let's get some of our citrus glaze on this right here. I'm gonna make a mess of my cutting board, but <laughs> I don't really care. Oh. This just looks and smells gorgeous. Let's cut a slice out of this. Just, oh, look at that. That is just beautiful. It is time to taste. You know, sometimes cutting into those things is a little bit of torture. I want to like just kind of reach down and take a quick taste. And every once in a while I'll get a taste on my fingers of the coating and stuff, but I didn't this time. So here it goes. Got a nice piece here, tender, juicy, just covered in that citrus honey glaze. Here we go. Oh, it melts. Oh man. There's pork loin and there's pork tenderloin. Tenderloin is supposed to be more tender, and it is. But I gotta tell you, if you cook pork loin right, you get a level of tenderness which rivals tenderloin. Oh. I think that peach wood really goes well with pork. I've used it a number of times now on different cuts of beef, chicken, pork. 
I think it really goes best with pork. I think chicken is a close second. Mm. Now the glaze is sort of the outer star of this show, but that rub on here really is nice. You get a nice little kick with that hatch chili powder. It's not too hot. If you want it hotter, you can add a lot more chili powder. It's just a really nice little undertone of heat. Oh, that glaze is good enough to drink from a shot glass. I'm not going to do that, but it's good enough to do that. Mm. Total cook time on this was two hours, a little bit longer than I expected. Usually a pork loin goes about an hour and 45 minutes when you're between that 250 and 225 temperature. This one took a little longer. I don't know why, but temperature is the determining factor on cuts of pork like this. Pork butt and things like that, you're looking for tenderness. This, you're going to that 145 because you don't want to overcook this. There's not a lot of fat in this. Oh, that sweetness with pork is just so good. I don't know if you can see here, but there's a nice crust on the outside. I didn't want to add too much moisture to the kettle. That's why I didn't fill the reservoir in the slow and sear. I wanted a little bit of crispness on the outside because I knew we were going to have that orange honey glaze. Mm. Mm. This is a four and a half pound pork loin. I'm just trying to decide how much I have to save for the rest of the family. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to check out some of the other videos on my channel and consider subscribing. And if you do, click that bell for notifications. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you again soon.